The other day I went live on this channel and in my new private Facebook group. If you'd like to join that group, by the way, there'll be a link below in the description. Well, on the live, or actually right before the live, someone from my YouTube channel here had reached out to me, like many of you do, about looking to move to the area. They're gonna move this year in 2024, and they're thinking about Pelican Bay. It is an amazing, amazing subdivision, quite desirable here, super affordable, wonderful community. And I've done several videos, but then I was thinking the other day, while they were on my live in my Facebook group, I was thinking, well, I haven't done an updated video about Pelican Bay in quite some time, so why not go ahead and do one today? And I got up today, I had this all scheduled out, and it's raining, but I'm like, let me go ahead and still do it because this way you can see what it's like the beginning of January, where it's 68 degrees out today, in beautiful, still somewhat sunny Florida. The weather's nice. The only jacket I brought was a light raincoat. And just because if I do have to spend some time outside, I just don't want to stand there getting soaking, soaking wet. So I'm going to go ahead and drive you around Pelican Bay. Make sure you stay towards the end. I am going to hop out. I'm going to take you through a property that's currently listed for sale. It's a beautiful three bedroom, two bath, concrete block home. Their asking price is $365,000. It does have a towel roof and it's on the water in the gated golf course community, Pelican Bay. Let me know in the comments below if you're watching this video now or maybe sometime in the future what you think about the property and the price. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and drive you around. And if you're looking to move or relocate to the greater Daytona Beach area, make sure you give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Just know I got your back when moving to Daytona Beach, Florida. Let's go. We just came inside the west gate to enter into Pelican Bay. There's an east gate and there's a west gate. We came in the west gate. These homes right here are on Pelican Bay Drive. There is only one HOA for these homes and that is to the master HOA. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down. Okay, here we're getting ready to pull into Hawks Landing. It's a subdivision inside of Pelican Bay. I wanted to show you this. Sorry about the raindrops on the lens. Hopefully you can see well enough. There are some condos coming up here, those on the left. And then we're gonna drive around to the back and there's some attached townhomes back there and they have their own private pool. There's other subdivisions in here similar, but because of the rain, Fogging up the lens, I couldn't do a whole bunch, but I have plenty of drive-through videos here in Pelican Bay. Of course, reach out if you have any questions.
I'm not heading for the stars, driving down this boulevard tonight. Yeah. Playing cold play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. Coming up here on the right is some more townhomes. They're one above each other, right across from here, which is the clubhouse and the community pool. This pool, they're still working on the fence, I see, but it's a huge pool and it is a separate fee. There's the clubhouse, that's also where you can pick up the golf and go golfing there. Again, right there on the right is the more affordable condos or townhomes. One's on the bottom and then one's on the top. Coming up here on the left is the towns. Again, sorry about all the rain. Here's on the towns. Those are some of more your affordable townhomes as well. They're single and two stories. Good part is they do come with a garage. We're gonna come up here on St. Andrews, another great subdivision inside Pelican Bay. The HOA is a little less, but you're responsible for the roof. Again, have any questions, anything in this subdivision or any, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Tommy's got brand new drums. And I still have my old guitar. And John said this next song's gonna be real good if you know what I mean. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. Okay, so here we are inside of one of my listings right here in beautiful Pelican Bay. Like I said earlier, this home is currently asking price of $365. It is a concrete block home, tile roof inside of Pelican Bay, a desirable gated golf course community. This is one of the homes though that has two HOAs. I get asked that a lot. How many HOAs? Is there an HOA? Pelican Bay, about, I would say 95% of the homes have two HOAs. As I first pulled into the West Gate and kept driving straight, that is Pelican Bay Drive. Those homes, most of them back up to the golf course and they're not in an extra HOA or an extra subdivision, so they only have the one HOA. The ones that shoot off on side streets those normally will have two HOAs because you're gonna pay the master HOA and then you're gonna pay the subdivisions HOA. For example, we're right here in St. Andrews and it depends on what it covers. Some of them, as you may notice, even the little subdivisions had their own private pool. That's for those community residents, not everyone. I did drive past the clubhouse where there is the big pool, but that is an additional fee, for example, if you wanted to join that. Or there are even some townhomes, single families, and villas that have their own private pool in the backyard. There's a little bit of everything in here, and I think that's what makes it so special and so nice. So depending on what you want covered in your homeowners association fee, if you want to not worry about the roof and the siding, maybe you want to get a property inside the town subdivision located in Pelican Bay. If you want a lesser HOA fee every month, but you're okay saving up for your new roof when the time's needed, then maybe you want to live perhaps here in St. Andrews or another subdivision. You just let me know what you're looking for and I can help get that for you. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take you around this home right here so you get an idea 
of currently the beginning of January 2024 what a home in Pelican Bay goes for on the water, two-story, tile roof, concrete block home. And if you're looking to move or relocate, go ahead, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. No, I got your back. We're moving to the greater Daytona Beach area. Talk to y'all soon. No